Good morning, community. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes, a little bit of everything. So when I do my videos on the heat and how hot things get in these big old high tunnels, I get a lot of questions as to why we're not using shade cloth on the high tunnels. And I'm gonna let my husband, Greg, tell you guys why we don't use shade cloth on these high tunnels. Now we do use shade cloth on our raised beds works fantastic it really helps uh, when we're in the heat of the summer keep our vegetables a little bit cooler we've got it on our chickens and we put it outside wherever we can but there's reasons why we can't put shade cloth on these high tunnels listen up all right honey tell us why we can't have because I've been wanting the shade cloth but there's a reason why we can't have them well yeah to my understanding uh we don't want to limit photosynthesis, right? So right now in my high tunnel, I have uh, two layers of plastic on the roof. I've got one of which is a UV blocker, okay? So, and then in between that, it's inflated, okay? And it's, it places up to almost three feet, you know, with a bubble in the roof. So, when the sun rays hit that, they're broken, and then that dead space in the middle, and then they're busted up again before they uh, hit the plant. So, effectively, I'm confident that <clears throat> I'm getting enough quote-unquote shade uh, from the uh, from the two layers of plastic. What I don't want to do in the high tunnel is limit photosynthesis. All right, because right now, when the temperatures here in Texas, it's very hot. It's humid too, but it's very hot. And when the leaf temperatures of the plants, of most plants, uh, uh, tomatoes, I know, you know, so I think it's about 80 or 81 degrees, something right there. It's not very high. When the leaf temperature gets higher than 80, 81 degrees, I believe, then the plant uh, either stops or at least slows down quite a bit on the photosynthesis and it does what's called, uh, it flips over into transpiration. It's like the plant's sweating, I believe, almost. And when they go into transpiration, they're not photosynthesizing. And when they're not photosynthesizing, then you're gonna get a buildup of ammonium, you're gonna get a buildup of uh, nitrates, Okay, and when you have those come in, high ammonium, high nitrates, guess what comes in? You're sucking insects. Your aphids, your aphids. Yeah, aphids. And now I'm seeing spider mites come in on mine. So I'm trying to address that through, you know, mineral compost, you know, mineral nutrition. But the last thing I want to do right now, even though it's so tempting because you say, okay, well, it's, it's hot and what I should do is go ahead and put the shade cloth on and then I'm gonna get reduce the temperature, the, you know, because the temperature in the tunnel will be lower. When yes, that's true. You will start to slow down the temperature or lower the temperature, but uh, you're also severely, in my opinion, and it's not, I don't know whether there's been studies done on it, but <clears throat> around the regenerative community, there's, it's pretty, it's becoming more well known that shade cloths can get you into trouble when it comes to uh, photosynthesis and limiting photosynthesis all right so that's the reason i'm not putting it on there right because i'm what okay so again when the leaf temperature goes above uh 80 81 degrees then they go the plant goes into transpiration where it goes into the sweat mode <clears throat> And it's not photosynthesizing, it's building up nitrates, it's building up ammonium, and it starts to actually uh, catabolize itself. It's not, it, it, I think it's about the same thing as cannibalize itself, you know, but it starts to take, instead of uptaking uh, its nutrients from the roots, it starts to take them out of the leaves and it goes into, it goes into a shock kind of, I guess, mode, so to speak. But yeah, it's very tempting to think, well, I'll just reduce my leaf temperature by putting a shade cloth over my tunnel. But then what you're doing is you're severely limiting photosynthesis. And uh, by that, by doing that, you're almost guaranteeing 
that if you can't get the temperature down low enough, which here in Texas, we're not going to be able to do it, even with a shade cloth, um, then you're going to be stuck in a at least a low photosynthesis cycle. And this has to happen every day, you know. And otherwise, you're going to be building up nitrates, building up ammonium, and it's going to continue to accumulate. And when that comes, then here comes all the insects. But having said that, now that's re with regards to uh, our high tunnels, okay? Do you remember what UV we have on the plastic? Was it 40% or 60%? Mm, I'm not sure. It's either 40 it or 60, and we had to do that, guys. Uh, well, I didn't know at the time, though, even. But I, it, anyways, going on, the... Uh, Outside is a different story. Outside, you can get away with a, a shade cloth because you don't have an additional two layers of plastic that are already, you know, blocking a, a, a UV rays. Yeah, yeah, it's blocking your UV out, which you actually need. <laughs> so when I replace my plastic, I probably won't be doing a UV blocker. But anyhow, but outside, you don't have this big layer of plastic two layers right in this dead space breaking up the sun rays for you but so you can get away with putting a uh, 40 or 60 even a 60 percent uh, shade cloth over you know your raised bed like you, you probably see yeah, on yeah, yeah. and like that and there hey no problem you know you are lowering the, the leaf temperature down some you know and helping the plant just you're just helping the plant all around outside because it's not getting completely scalded you know so, and then generally speaking, you'd have plenty of air circulation. And so it's a great benefit, I believe, you know, outdoors. I've seen it when it's practical, it does, you know, it helps quite a bit. But back to the high tunnel, not necessarily true. And I've seen in the past with our small high tunnel that the, here's what I saw. When the shade cloth came off, ooh, we saw the bug, the end, because we had some bad insect pressure. The insect pressure lightened within three or four days. It lifted, it's like lifting a blanket up off the top. So again, and as far, as far as you, when you're walking around in there, yeah, it's a lot nicer to have a shady place to walk around and, you know, and to work at a, at a lower temperature, lower, but not that sweet temperature that we really want, right? That's gonna solve all the problems. But uh, yeah, it's it feels better to you. But you know, plants, plants don't like they it. need that. They need the sunlight. You know, they don't need to be scalded in the sun, direct sun, for 16 hours a day. I'm not saying that, but, you know, but taking into consideration our two layers of UV, you know, blocking plastic and a big dead space in there. I've got enough. Well, I don't want to inhibit any more of my. Uh, sunlight coming in there and that's why so there you have it guys we're up here on the back porch now getting a little bit of breeze thank goodness but that's the rundown i hope this answers your questions thank you guys so much i know that you all are always trying to help us and give us guidance and we appreciate each and every one of you stay tuned Woo wee! it is hot thank you for watching god bless see you soon